Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome to a video in which I'm going to recommend books. I know, it's something new on uh, BookTube. So I've been seeing people, starting with Karen from over at uh, The Roving Reader, make videos uh, in which they talk about books they recommend all the time. Karen's done several of these, they're great, I'll leave links to some down below. And then I saw Jen from the Jen the Librarian did a similar uh, video in which she recommended five books. And I thought this sounded like a fun idea for a video, and so I thought I would do it. And so I'm going to recommend five books that I think would uh, be appealing uh, to all different kinds of readers, um, but some perhaps more tailored to specific types of readers uh, than others. So I'm just going to run through the five books here really quickly, talk a little bit about each and why I would recommend them. This is a book I think I would recommend to people who are interested in kind of gossipy, kind of socialite, kind of wealthy type reading, you know, that kind of thing, would be the uh, Patrick Melrose novel by Edward St. Aubin, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed and I thought were, were really good. These books are really, really well written. Uh, they have an ironic, sarcastic sense of humor. The main character, Patrick Melrose, is absolutely a mess and, you know, following through him through uh, his misadventures and kind of at the same time peeling back and learning about the traumas, et cetera, in his life, which made him the way he is and how he overcomes those things, I think makes this a really rich and rewarding reading experience. And in particular, for people who are looking for, you know, that kind of reading which kind of pulls you along because you're like, oh my God, how much worse can this get? Uh, these books also then have uh, heart. They have kind of uh, a social conscience. They have, uh, they're funny without hitting you over the head with any of those things. And they end up just being, I think, kind of uh, almost a really great redemption story. There are four in this bind up and there's one more, but I would definitely recommend uh, those novels. You know, and if you read it and you didn't like uh, the first one and you thought it was too, the way in which its humor approached some fairly serious subjects was, was off-putting, that would be fine. But I do, it is a book I would recommend and have recommended uh, before. Uh, if I knew that the reader I was talking to and asking for a book re recommendation read a lot of mystery type novels, um, particularly those which are somewhat, you know, kind of maybe blend a little bit of the occult with uh, the mystery. I would recommend uh, Lote by Shola von Reinhold. Uh, this book combines all kinds of things. There's a mystery at the heart of it. You know, there is a relationship or there are, you know, echoes of things like Umburger Echoes, Name of the Rose, uh, and Foucault's Pendulum. There is, uh, it is, you know, a dark academia book on some levels. Um, so kind of, you can kind of get um, the secret history vibes, uh, Donna Tartt vibes from reading the book. There are, uh, you know, uh, there are characters who, uh, who don't conform to uh, the customary gender roles who are represented here. There's historical fiction that involves um, you know, uh, real life people from the past and a figure from history uh, who may or may not be real along with some mystical kind of occult type stuff. And I just really, really enjoyed it. It's not perfect, but I think it's a really, really enjoyable book, uh, particularly for people who enjoy that kind of thing. A lot of times when people ask for recommendations, what they want is a recommendation for a classic or they ask specifically for a recommendation of a classic. I talked about this book recently on my channel, but I would always recommend Edith Wharton, and the Edith Wharton I would recommend would be uh, The House of Mirth, which I think is just a great entree point into Edith Wharton's writing. Uh, Lily Bard is an incredibly sympathetic character. The story is tragic. It is richly set in the world of kind of New York society around the turn of the 20th century uh, and the wealthy society and what happens to a young woman who uh, is uh, unmarried and whose wealth is anything but secured and all the problems that she can have. And I, I just think it, it really is brilliant. I think if you, you know, like um, uh, Jane Austen or you like the Bronte sisters novels, you will find a kind of more in some ways more nuanced, maybe not the Jane Austen, in some ways more nuanced, uh, brilliantly written in an American setting, an American idiom uh, novel here in the House of Mirth. And if you didn't want this one, then The Age of Innocence, I think, would also be excellent. Uh, next on the list are two books I recommend on my channel uh, frequently, and I would recommend anybody. Uh, the first one of those is Salvage the Bones by Jasmine Ward. Uh, just a brilliant look at uh, the life of a poor 
uh, black uh, young woman, girl, right on the edge of puberty, right on the edge of moving in to their teenage years, and the difficulty and the harshness, and yet the beauty of their life as they live in extreme poverty with an alcoholic father, uh, a mother who isn't present, and brothers uh, who she grows up around and their friends. And there are adventures, and there are tragedies, and there is violence, and there's a huge storm that kind of comes and destroys everything. You can kind of feel a lot of things. Um, uh, you can kind of feel a lot of the influences of Jasmine Ward in this book, but it is unique and beautiful and just a really great book. And then the last book I would recommend is probably the book I've recommended most often to most number of people, and that is Leonard and Hungry Paul by Ronan Hessian. This is just a, a great, gentle, compassionate look at two men who are friends, two men who we would probably most often in our regular everyday lives kind of overlook and think that they were strange, um, they didn't fit in with society. Uh, both men uh, lived with their parents, uh, Leonard with his mother, Hungry Paul with his parents, uh, and uh, his, uh, and his, anyway, and their friendship is really based around playing board games, which they play once a week. They both have jobs, but, you know, are, are not necessarily career driven. Uh, neither one is involved in a romantic relationship at the beginning, and yet their relationship with their parents, uh, sisters, and then the eventual romantic relationship are told in such kind of beautiful and simple, as I said, compassionate ways that I, I just think it's a great, gentle book which explores kind of how both of these men, uh, though they seem to be standing still, are actually moving forward. Uh, in positive ways and actually are far more complex and interesting and with it people than you might imagine. And I just thought the book was brilliant and great and I recommend it to everybody uh, all the time. Anyway, there you go. There are my five books I would recommend the most uh, to anybody. Uh, you know, I didn't pick, these are not necessarily my five favorite books, but just five books I think anybody uh, would be able to find their way into and anybody would gain some enjoyment and some enrichment from. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below, and as always, thank you for watching.